Hi, I'm Keith Cooper from North Light Images and in this short video I'm going to show how you print a large panoramic print on the Canon Pro 300 printer. Now it doesn't have roll support but one of the improvements of the Pro 300 over older printers is that it supports a maximum page length of up to a meter. Now roll paper you'll need to get your paper to print on. This happens to be 10 inch roll paper. Uh, it's from a local company called Paper Spectrum here in Leicester in England. However, other companies produce similar papers. There are 13 inch rolls available as well. And I've also got an eight inch roll of this stuff. Now you might think, why would you have eight inch roll paper? Well, if you've got a printer with a cutter in it, eight inch roll paper makes it really easy to produce eight by tens in a hurry. You print them out, chops them off, does everything, saves you having to get eight by 10 paper, which is not a common sight. Anyway, here is a source of paper, roll. Uh, quite a lot of paper on that roll. How do I get print? Well, I need to cut, in this instance, about a meter's length. The printer itself has a maximum page length of 995 millimeters. I don't know why it's not a meter. Um, it just happens to be that. But anyway, a meter long strip of paper cut will help. Now I've left this out for a bit, so it's straightened a bit, but you'll see there's still quite a bit of curl for it. So effectively I'm going to need to run this bit of paper through the printer to get my panoramic print. Now the size of this paper, you may think, well right, the aspect ratio is, this is 254 millimeters by just shy of a meter long. So that gives you about a 3.2 to 1 ratio or something like that. However, you will probably want to print with a bit of a border. Borderless printing is not supported on papers, custom paper sizes like this. So I will end up with a slightly smaller image. And the aspect ratio of that turns out to be over four to one. So remember that the aspect ratio of the paper is usually different to the aspect ratio of the image if you're printing with a border. Anyway, I'll set this up. I've got an image in Photoshop, opened in Photoshop, and I'm going to print using Canon PPL software, Canon's print layout software. I could print just as well from in Photoshop, but I'll show the Canon software. Uh, I've taken the image and I've actually scaled it a little bit to fit this bit of paper. Now you think, well, won't it notice? No, it doesn't. Most times, if you do minor scalings of an image that's sufficiently high resolution to start with, very few people will notice it. Now, I happen to know this image, what it looks like. I've got a large print of it up on the wall upstairs in this house, um, and it looks no different. If I'm very careful, I can tell the difference, but it's not something to worry about. Anyway, I'll set the printer up and uh, We'll see how it prints. Now the image itself is a panoramic shot I created from, if I remember rightly, about 15 individual shots taken handheld quite quickly, looking from Ecola State Park down towards Cannon Beach. You need to be quite quick in doing this because otherwise when you stitch it, you get stitching errors with the waves. But uh, I happen to know this print, I've printed it four or five meters long. Uh, there's no shortage of detail there. Now I've opened it up and I'm printing it in Canon Professional Print and Layout or PPL, the Canon software. The important bits about this are that I have selected the paper type, which is Pro Luster. Uh, the actual roll paper I'm using is a, is a different one, but it's essentially the same sort of paper. More importantly, I've selected a custom size. Now this is a custom size I've created at 254 millimeters by 990 millimeters. This is one from when I was originally testing the printer. One other thing, I've selected the correct ICC profile for this particular paper. So we've got the paper selected, we've selected the custom size, selected the profile, and I've adjusted the margin settings to get the picture to sit right on the custom paper size. Anyway, this is all I need to be able to print. I've now hit print 
on my laptop, which is connected to this printer. This is I am printing from Photoshop and PPO. And it's now preparing the image. And uh, I've loaded up this paper. It's not fed in. I've folded it over the back. It goes down behind this little table. And it's leveled up straight. Now, one important thing to note when you chop paper off a roll, make sure you get a nice even edge, a dead straight. If you've got a trimmer, use it. If you're using scissors, draw a line on the paper first. It really does make a difference and it will stop misfeeds of the paper. It takes a short while to process the image on the printer. But once it starts printing, I want to make sure I get a good smooth feed. So you notice I'm holding this, I'm not pushing it in, I'm just holding it ready for the printer to actually grab the paper. And there you see it draws the paper in quite quickly, so be ready for it. We're now printing. So I want to make sure there's not too much pressure at the back here, nothing catching the printer, because I don't want anything that causes the paper to drag. So the print is underway. Of course, when the print comes out the front here, we also need to make sure it doesn't come out and fall off. So I'll put something underneath to catch the print. But anyway, now we just have to wait for the print to happen. And here it comes. I'm printing at the standard setting here, which for premium luster, which is this sort of uh, type of paper that I'm using, you don't need the high quality print setting. Um, it would just take a lot longer to print. Uh, for some things like cards and the other, it does make a difference if you use the higher uh, print settings. But certainly for something this size, a print this size is going to be viewed at a reasonable distance. So nobody's going to get that close to it. And if they do, there's plenty of detail anyway. This print is probably being printed at the equivalent of something ooh, 300, 360 pixels per inch, which is more than enough. I'm just going to check the paper at the back here, and here it is, the end of it. When you're printing papers like this, do watch that they haven't started to snag or anything. It's the only problem when they're using large sheets like this. But people say you need roll paper support for prints this big. You don't. Um, One other thing, towards the end of the print, get ready to catch it. Um, if the print suddenly released at this end, it will fold out and go on the floor, which I don't really want. There we go, and I've caught it. So, there we have. A large panoramic print. Um, the place is Cannon Beach in Oregon on the coast, one uh, pleasant lunchtime. So there you have it how to make a large print on the Pro 300. As you see, it fits fairly well. I have a slight difference in margins at the end there which I'll need to trim off um, depends on how you're going to mount it but the general principle is uh, you can have a piece of paper this size up to 13 inch width and you're at 995 millimeters so there it is hope that's been of some use um, it is really easy to use this printer uh, have a look at my review of the printer and other articles I've written about using it for printing Thank you.